Hello and welcome back to Redirecting. This story that I'm about to share with you, I believe, is so miraculous. It kind of reminds me of a lot of the uh, short clips that people have been sharing across the internet where uh, individuals around the world are having brushes with death and they are uh, beating death. And it's not that they're beating death. The Most High is having mercy. And some of these things are so tripped out that you, you say to yourself, wow, how did this person even survive? Right. But I know the answer to that. I know the answer to that. If it is not your time, it is not your time. So I'm going to share this story of this young man. He is a FedEx driver and he survives a 75 foot fall off of a highway bridge, a highway bridge. Anyway, I'm going to show the video and I will be right back. This picture taken by rescue workers shows where Jeremiah Cribb landed after falling 75 feet from the Yadkin River Bridge. I keep having the flashbacks. I'm not supposed to be here right now. On the phone from the hospital, Cribb told me he was on 85 North early this morning making a delivery for FedEx when he noticed a car stalled in the fast lane. He stopped to help, but soon an 18-wheeler came barreling towards him. He was striking the light on and off, and he was in the left lane, he did emerge. And we didn't know if he was going to hit the car, but I kind of had a feeling that he was. And he went and he smashed into the car. But well, before that happened, Chris had already jumped over the media. And I kind of laid there because I was afraid my, my back was broke. Something really bad happened. He thought that he was jumping into a grass median, that it was at the same height. Salisbury Fire Battalion Chief Nicholas Martin was one of the emergency responders. In this picture, you can see another one, firefighter Jacob Vodachowski rappelling down with a medical bag. I gave him a little pinch on the leg because the way he was laying there looked like he might have been paralyzed from that great of a fall. Despite some dizziness and shortness of breath, Crib was in such good shape, they were able to stand him up and repel him back up to the bridge. And to be honest, that's, that's entirely miraculous. I can't describe it. I mean, I can't, I can't really, I mean, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Miraculous. Isn't this amazing? These are the kind of things that make you say, look at ya. Now, a lot of you don't believe in y'all. You don't even like me talking about them. But hey, this is one of those things right here that makes me say you better wake up and recognize because this man, even from his own admission, says that he shouldn't be here. Although that's a false statement. He should be here, which is why he is here. What he should have said is, thank the most high that I am here because apparently some angels must have broken his fall because that is a long way to fall and to hit that hard to the point where he thought he may have been paralyzed from the impact, from the fall. And so that's why I say, look at y'all. For those of you who just don't believe, maybe you should recognize that there is a creator and life and death is within his hands, right? Now, of course, uh, the Bible does say, don't fear him who can destroy your body because that tells you that people can uh, take your life, right? But we are to feel fear Yah who can destroy your body and soul in hell fire, right? So in looking at this story, I want those of you who don't believe to understand that our creator does exist. And if it's not your time, it's not your time, right? It obviously wasn't this young man's time. Uh, he probably felt like that was the end of him as he was falling. But when he laid there and he realized, hey, I'm still alive. And then he was able to get up and walk away with just minor injuries. Utterly amazing. Utterly amazing. And I say to that, to Yah be the glory. To Yah be the glory. Yes, there were rescue workers who came down there and lifted him up out of that place. But why is he still alive? Why was he not taken away from here? Why was the impact from that fall not great enough to kill him? Now... I understand that there are people who have survived falls like this before, but there are people who fall from shorter distances who do not survive. So again, wake up and recognize that the Most High is good. Yes, He is. And He reigns on the just 
and the unjust. With that, I will say shalom. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.